This is the site where all of the solid wastes from the city are brought. And since the earthquake, they've also been dumping human wastes here. And those human wastes are just traveling through the groundwater to areas where people might actually be accessing their drinking or bathing water. I co-founded Soil in 2006, the same year I was completing my doctorate in ecology. And as an ecologist, I felt that we could come up with a better sanitation solution than traditional latrines. The toilets that we do separate the, the urine and the poop, so you got to have the seat that when you sit on it, the pee goes directly underground and it's only the poop that we have to haul out of the camps. Here we are at the Cité Soleil composting site. So we dump the drums and then we cover it with this stuff right here, which is sugarcane bagasse. This has a lot of carbon in it. It's very good for microbial activity. And what happens is that the compost within a few days rises in temperature and that's what kills the pathogens inside the human poop. In the beginning, we focused mainly on public toilets, but our newest project is to come up with a household toilet design, much like this one, where people could have access to private in-home sanitation. So the idea is that people would rent this toilet and by paying one to three dollars US a month, and that fee would cover transportation, collection, and treatment of the waste. In addition to that, we would sell the resulting compost, which could further subsidize the user fees for people who can't afford to rent these toilets. And our feeling is that once we can demonstrate that there are profitable businesses to be developed around sanitation, then the private sector can bring this program to scale throughout Haiti.